Hello, my name is uh, Alvin Franklin. I am 24 years old, and I gave my life to Jesus um, when I was 17 years old. Um, I was a religious person, grew up in a religious household, Was went to the Baptist church. We were raised in church, didn't miss a beat. Um, every Sunday, sung in the choir, did all these things, and yet it gave me no satisfaction, gave me no fulfillment. Um, I was about 16, 17 years old. I really started asking some serious questions about life. I was wondering like where do you go when you die um, what happens that was my biggest fear was what's gonna happen after i die because i never knew you know the, the baptist church never really tarped on it they just say everybody goes to heaven so it just became to, it just came to a point where i was so empty inside and it just i just got sick and tired of being empty so what happened was i was about 16 17 high school about to graduate from high school this was my, my senior year uh, one of my friends, one of my close friends of mine, I've been knowing since second grade, he recently had just given his life to Jesus and he started to go through the hallways in school. He started, he had his Bible in his hand. He used to tell people about Jesus. He used to tell people about heaven and hell and he started talking to me. And at first I was like, yeah, you know, it sounds good and all, but I'm a good person, you know, I'm good, this and that. But I couldn't deny the fact that there was something different about that man and there was something that he had that I wanted. And he started telling me about heaven and hell, so it really started to spark my interest. I'd never heard a whole lot about hell. It always been about heaven. Everybody goes to heaven is what they teach in the, in the Baptist churches. Everybody goes. So uh, I sparked my interest, and I, I really started to dig deep, research, read some books, and I realized scripturally hell is a real place and that if people don't repent, if people don't give their lives to Jesus, that's where they end up. Not by God's sending them there, but by them choosing that route themselves. Uh, so I made it. I got to a point where it shook me up. It frightened me, and um, I, it came to a point where I was sick and tired of just being sick and tired. And and I went into a room one night. It was in November 2007. I just, I just, I didn't know how to pray. I'd never done it. I just said, God, forgive me of my sins. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I I repent. I, I, I accept you into my life, Jesus. Please, I don't want to end up in this terrible place called hell. And then the moment I cried out, I just began to cry out. And then instantly it was just as if momentarily just this this, this, I just, this peace came over me. There was just this lift of all the oppression, all the, the stuff I was dealing with, all the issues, all the peer pressure. It just lifted off me. And I just felt this sense of relief and this this peace. And I literally felt the Spirit of God. I, it was as if I knew it was God. And, and the Spirit of God spoke to me and said, it's okay, I got you now. And that next day, I just got this desire to start reading the Bible, seeing what it said, because I never picked up the Bible. And start reading it, I start digging deep, start reading the book of John, learning about Jesus, learning who he was. I start reading other gospels, and I start to read Romans and Acts and all of it just began to fascinate me and it just drew me into the to the word of god and um a few about a year or so later i left home uh came up to college came to uga and a friend of mine in a barber shop he invited me out to uh victory chapel and so i came out and made a decision god dealt with me made a decision i'm gonna serve god i'm gonna live my life for jesus and Regardless of whatever happens, regardless of how tough it might seem, I'm going to stick it out and, and knowing that, that Jesus is the only way. And I'm just here to encourage you, you know, if you're watching this, that, that Jesus Christ is the only way for salvation. He's the only way to eternal life. Um, and if you will accept him right now as you're watching this, if you will accept Christ in your life, he will transform your life just like he did for me and so many others. He's the only solution to the world's problems.